Check if it went live. There we go. Welcome, welcome everybody. The Nintendo Direct is literally just about to start. So I should be live now if everything worked out properly. There we go, getting an ad. Getting an ad, we recently got monetized on the channel, which is pretty cool. I mean, sucks for all of you guys that you gotta see ads, but <laughs> at least we're making a little bit of money now. So I hope we're gonna see some really cool things today. Um, maybe some Zelda, maybe some really cool co-op games, uh, maybe more news about Pikmin. Not sure what exactly I'm hoping for. I'm just hoping for something cool, really. So here's to that. <clears throat> now we do have roofers on top of our house. So um, that's an unfortunate thing that hopefully you guys can't hear too much as we go along here. Okay, do we got audio? There we go, okay. It started, it started. <laughs> I didn't read that COVID notice. I don't know if I was saying that things are going to be delayed because of COVID or what I was saying. Let's see what we got, everybody. Okay, this looks like uh, Pikmin. Pikmin? Is that right? I haven't actually played any of the Pikmin games. I played the demo. Yes, Pikmin 4. Okay, so I don't know if this one's going to be co-op. I know Pikmin 3 was co-op, and it's something that we've been wanting to get to because we've been told it was really good, but we have not played it ourselves. Hopefully, hopefully the music isn't too loud. If it is, please let me know. I've got chat pulled up. I'm here to listen to you, so let me know. It looks pretty. <laughs> really hope that it's a co-op game because that would be really exciting. I do like the concept of the game for sure. We just only, only got the demo because Nintendo first party games are so freaking expensive. Okay. Okay, it looks um, very similar so far. <laughs> so, but I don't know if that's just the same formula that all of them follow. Right. Tell me if you have played Pikmin, if you like Pikmin, are you excited for Pikmin 4? I like the concept of using all the little people to do your tasks for you. <laughs> Ice Pikmin? Is that a new Pikmin? Okay, the sound is too loud for me. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check where the sound is for you guys real fast, and it might pull you out of that window for a minute. Let's see. You know, that's that's probably okay for you guys. It might be a little loud. It might be a little loud. Turn my volume down just a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> I don't know, it definitely looks like a cute game that we would enjoy. It's just hard to get for that $60 purchase price. <laughs> also, I can't remember if this was going to be released in 2024. Welcome, hi, Randon. Glad to see you. Are you excited for Pikmin 4? Tell me. Tell me what you think. Randon. I think I said Dawn, not Dawn. So because we didn't get very far into playing the co-op in Pikmin 3, I honestly don't know if that one looked like it was cooperative or not. Hello everyone, I'm Shinya Takahashi and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. That was the latest trailer for Pikmin 4. A dog-like creature was spotted. What kinds of things will it show us? Please yeah, I'm glad that he's like pointing out what's new for me. <laughs> Let's see our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Okay, here we go. Splatoon. This no, that's not Splatoon. Real I just saw the yellow and I was like, Splatoon. That's not Splatoon at all. Three of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 expansion pass DLC. The only Xenoblade I ever played was 2, and I did not enjoy that. <laughs> but I've heard that 3 was really, really good. 
And obviously one was good. I've heard that a lot of people didn't like two as much as, as one and three. <laughs> so I, I got the rough end of the stick, I guess. Like elements are also being added. Select only one character and battle wave after wave of enemies. For every win, you'll earn it just, more It was too long. Abilities. Rack up victories that with your heroes was my and set your sights <laughs> on the final stage. It was like, you might also felt get like it was so long. Outfits as a reward. And coming in volume four later this year. Tell me why! Is this really what you want? Nothing's gonna get through to him. He's a heartless machine! Like killing Grandad wasn't enough for you? Volume 3 of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Expansion Pass for the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 game launches on the Nintendo Switch system oh, that's like February 15th. Right around the corner. I don't know if we knew about that already or not. Shake it, amigo! Okay, this looks interesting. This looks down our alley, maybe. I don't know if it's co-op, but it looks down our alley. Beat in a brand new Samba de Amigo game. Grab your Joy-Con controllers and okay. shake them like so I'm going to tell you, this is not a game that I would enjoy at all, but it is something that Carly would probably love, as long as it's difficult dance. enough. Like, there, there was a, a similar thing in uh, Pokemon Scarlet where you had to do something like that, and it was so easy, it was ridiculous, but Carly does really enjoy that type of thing. Now, it does look like that's a co-op or multiplayer game, so, I mean, we do got that on our side, <laughs> but not something that I, I care for too much. Really. Those with the lowest scores in each round will be eliminated. Keep the beat and aim for first place. 40 songs are included, spanning a multitude of genres from around the world. So grab those controllers and get shaken when Samba de Amigo Party Central shimmies on to Nintendo Switch this from summer. Sega. <clears throat> Got a passion for fashion? Welcome to Fashion Dreamer. This is the place to glam it up and express yourself. Here, you'll aim to become a stylish influencer. And you're in luck. Influencer. <laughs> Tons of people are seeking the latest trends. Give them a like if you dig their style. Okay, I have a little sister or who would absolutely love this game. For them to grow as Definitely not something Carly or I care about even like the teeniest little bit. Now but I, I think my little sister would absolutely design. love this game. I know she always had like those games on her options. on her then iPhone or, or iPad or whatever that like let her dress up flourish. all the of the women in different clothes and stuff. So you can get the definitely down her alley. <laughs> by them. I don't think there's a lot of people that are going to be particularly excited for this one. New looks. By connecting online, you can expand your friend circle and grow your brand. Got an eye for fashion? Then get styling when Fashion Dreamer debuts exclusively on Nintendo Switch this year. Just 2023, so we're getting more and more vague with our release dates here. <laughs> Delve into these dark worlds. Dracula's Castle beckons in this new paid DLC for the roguelite action platformer, Dead Cells. Venture through the castle's hellish halls and outskirts. Tell me if this is a, a game I need to play, Dead Cells, because I know it was so popular and had such good reviews, but I've never touched it. So tell me if it's something I need to try. Iconic weapons as you vanquish legions of monsters in frenetic combat. Twelve original covers and fifty-one songs from the Castlevania series accompany you during your quest in Dead Cells: Return to Castlevania, sinking its teeth into Nintendo Switch March sixth. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Enter a new grid in this narrative puzzle adventure set within the Tron universe. Uncover dangerous truths and retrieve That's what was lost. That's interesting that like Tron is a thing that they're making world. a game of your decisions right now in and 2023. The forge will impact your journey and the entire server. Tron Identity launches first for consoles on Nintendo Switch this April. Who's there? Wait, is that? Well, that can't be good. The time-bending murder mystery Ghost Trick returns in HD. 
After kicking the bucket and becoming a ghost, you can possess and control objects. With your powers, you can even help others, like this woman, and change any ill-fated, uh, fates. Ghost Trick, Phantom Detective, Spirits onto Nintendo Switch this summer. Two connected worlds, one suspenseful thriller. I don't know if I can even tell you how disinterested I get when I'm watching watching videos that are in another language. And especially it's hard to commentate because I have to sit here and read everything that's being said. If you, <laughs> if you like this game, let me know, because, like, it's leaving zero impression on me, but I'm also not a big fan of, like, anime-type games, so, I mean, that could be it, but it's, like, the anime and the, and the language piling on top of each other. There was a witch and a demon. A witch and a ferocious demon. Experience Bayonetta's origins as a young witch named Cereza. That's interesting. Seeking the power to rescue her imprisoned mother, she ventures deep into the Avalon forest ruled by fairies. I'm going to that forest. I'm going to become a witch and save mummy. There, she'll encounter the otherworldly demon Cheshire. You'll control both witch and demon at the same time. Harness Cereza's magic and Cheshire's ferocity to travel through this mysterious and dangerous forest. They'll need to work together in battle as well. Cheshire, let's go! Cereza cannot attack and can only support Cheshire by magically binding enemies. Hold an enemy in place while Cheshire attacks. Or stop an aggressive one to focus on another. Strategically use each character. That's an interesting, to interesting battles. looking game, and I am like, it, it actually makes me more the interested in Bayonetta. I've never particularly been interested in Bayonetta, but I like the fact that they're like powers, diving into new paths can be the open, history, and battles can be so, more easily swayed or the origin story. Can Cereza and Cheshire find their happily ever after? Cheshire, let's go! Bayonetta Origins, Cereza and the Lost Demon prowls onto the Nintendo Switch system March 17th. Pre-orders are available I know that's another series that has like a ton of hype around it, but it's just not something I've How ever tried. <laughs> Next, please take a look at this. I will gladly take a look at whatever is next here. Splatoon! My brother is really big into Splatoon. I never got into it because I don't have anybody to play with online. So like playing just myself online wasn't something I could get into. What do we got here? Introducing the Splatoon 3 Expansion Pass. This paid DLC includes two waves of content. The first wave is Inkopolis. Make this splat You know, to be honest, I don't really care for DLC that comes in multiple grounds. different waves. I'd rather just get everything at once. Like this, this is Booyah Base. It's got some pretty nifty weapons and gear. 
you might spot a few familiar faces alongside new shopkeepers. Products here are the same as the ones in Splatsville, so shop wherever your vibes are strongest. Salmon Run, Table Turf Battle, The Shoal, and Amiibo functionality all work in the same way here too. Wait, two we got showing now. The Squid Sisters will also perform here during Splatfests. Need a mix of old school and freshness? Then head over to Inkopolis. The first wave of this paid DLC launches this spring. Okay. <laughs> So far, I have not been very excited oh, by this. this, but I'm sure that we're going to get some really cool things. Pikmin, I think, is my most exciting thing I've seen so far, and that's one I haven't even played. But that's, you know, partially on me for just not having played so many games. <laughs> we're here for the co-op stuff. What is this? You know, I really like the white. <laughs> I don't know why. That looks just so appealing to me. Like Wave that was one, ink that was that was something that I would want to play. I want to play Wave a game two, that is just made up of, of white buildings like future. that. Like, that's something that appeals to me. So. <laughs> the Splatoon 3 expansion pass will be available later today on Nintendo eShop. Many people have played Splatoon 3 since its launch. Thank you all very much. We hope players will be able to enjoy the game even more with the upcoming paid expansion pass. Please look forward to more information about Splatoon 3 in the future. Let's see some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Adventure awaits Mickey and friends on Illusion Island. Okay, we got some Disney Mickey stuff here. Mouse, Minnie is Mouse, totally, Duck, totally a kids game, or is Goofy. it something something that can be enjoyed Embark by adults on a new too? Adventure to find three magical books and save the mysterious island of Mana. Run, jump, and swing to explore every nook and cranny of the island. By unlocking special abilities, you can reach new places. So this looks and like it's probably a co-op game. You could probably play it, you know, across with large chasms with boost your kids jump, or with ground pound barriers to open kids. new spaces and glide it's not through the air. There we go. There's some co-op. There's some co-op right there. Each so there's co -op, personality uh, shines through in their for actions. those of you who want to play like with children, this looks like a really fun game to play with your Share kids. A hug for extra help. Looks like a good game for like little little Lately kids to play together as well. Jumps, so. Or drop a rope to lend a hand. Work together to save Mana. I also like, the, I also like seeing things packs. that like you have to work together in order to get, get While through things. While exploring the like island, the you'll meet unusual allies and dangerous foes. Study their movements carefully to figure out the secrets to victory. Join Mickey and friends on a high-flying adventure in Disney Illusion Island, swinging onto Nintendo Switch July 28th. It looks a little childish, but it might be something that, that today Carly and I would Nintendo enjoy. Honestly, e Carly really likes games that are easy without too hard, so she might she might be really into that. More emblems are on the way. New okay. emblems are coming to Fire future Emblem, waves another the game Fire series that I have like DLC. zero interest in. So we're getting a lot of DLC Hector, so far. Emblem of strength. <laughs> Raise defense and unleash counterattacks. There is only one person who can make Sorin, emblem of acumen. Cast magic spells over a wide area. What is that? A Camilla, emblem of revelation. Modify the terrain to hinder enemies. Wave three includes well, Crom and Robin, emblem of bonds. Overwhelm foes with sword and magic attacks. Veronica, emblem of heroes. 
I see you. Summon additional allies to fight for your cause. Challenge newly added missions to recruit these new emblems. And in wave four, a new story called Bell Xenolog will be unlocked. Thank you for answering our prayers. Who is it that's putting your world in danger now? Watch out! Assassin! Wave 2 of the Fire Emblem Engage Expansion Pass for the Fire Emblem Engage game launches on the Nintendo Switch system later today. today. Wow. I love hearing things that are just like, come on, like immediately. So that's cool. Take, Take control, control of your destiny. Your destiny. This is Reverie. A world in which deities known as aspirations dwell. When a megacorp endangers the harmony between reverie and our world, the future of humanity hangs in the balance. In this narrative adventure, harness your divine gift of clairvoyance to travel between worlds, see the future, and decide humanity's fate. Many branching story paths, along with a riveting soundtrack by Celeste composer Lena Rain, set the stage for your journey. Eventually, you'll side with one of the six aspirations like Bond. This Power, game looks like it has way too much chatting. To change way too the much story's talking outcome. <laughs> to which destiny do you aspire? Harmony I like my games to be filled with action. I don't like have to do a lot of reading. On Nintendo Switch this June. So let me know if, if you feel the same way. Do you like having to do a lot of reading? These do you like those you like graphic novel type games? Or do you like to have just more action? Oh man, people are going to be so corner. excited for that. After today's Nintendo Octopath Direct, a demo Traveler containing 2. the game's opening hours will be available on Nintendo eShop. Okay, that's something I'm, I'm going to message Eight my brother about because he really liked Octopath. Oct Oct Honestly, I, I probably will download that Who demo too and try it. Because that sounds like fun. Journey lead you? It's not Adventure like a game a that I wanted to purchase for $60, but it's Switch, a game that I have had interest in. And I know my brother rolling. loves it. Run around and collect okay. Of objects in this so this is another game that Katamari. I, my uh, brother-in-law absolutely loves Roll in a Kat Katamari. A so what is, and is this DLC? Is that what it said it is? New features include playing as the young king of all cosmos in five new challenges. Okay, yeah. So it is it is just and DLC. taking photos with a selfie camera. So, <laughs> this is a game I've heard recommended so Katamari many different times. Royal you just sit there and just collect your math. It's kind of like one of the in .io addition, games where you like Nintendo Switch try online to members eat other people. Can play a free game trial of Katamari Damashi Reroll. Combine the powers of the sun and moon to fend off evil in this Okay, this game RPG. has actually looked really interesting to me. I thought it was co-op originally. It does not look world. like it's actually co-op. But it looks like an intriguing uh, RPG that I might be interested with in playing. Attacks in battle. Sea of Stars. Your journey with I've been following the people, the developers of this on Twitter for Yasunori quite a long Mitsuda, time. A guest composer for the game. Sea of Stars sails onto Nintendo Switch August 29th. A free demo will launch later today on Nintendo eShop. That's cool that we're getting several demos. So we're getting uh, get out in this free -to -play Katamari, we're getting showdown. Sea of Stars, and Four Octopath Traveler 3. And challenge others to okay, so here's a local multiplayer game, style. looks like. Just like a battle game. Skills to dominate each match. I've seen a lot of Change different games like this. They're very popular. Block areas to gain the advantage. So I think knock opponents out I assume that this is local multiplayer. It it's probably has strikers. online and multiplayer. Slides on to Nintendo multiplayer. Switch, April 27th. Pre-orders for this free-to-play game begin today on oh, Nintendo eShop. Free-to-play, why do I need a pre-order if it's free-to-play? What kind of bonuses am I getting with the free-to-play? into the sprawling labyrinth. A collection of the first three Etrian Odyssey games is coming to Nintendo Switch remastered in HD. Many treasures lie deep within a massive labyrinth. Its paths are intertwined, and vicious monsters lurk in the shadows. A blank map is your only guide. By drawing the map as you explore, you can progress even further. Venture into the labyrinth with five adventurers. As the guild leader, you'll assign them roles, like the ally defending protector or the ultra-fast dark hunter. But be warned, every adventure is fraught with danger. Should you fall in battle, 
you can change your team and learn new skills to strengthen your party before challenging the labyrinth again. 24 new neutron character illustrations well. are included. <laughs> I hope I'm not offending Plus, people by all the games that I'm not interested options. in. And a so, new automatic when, I, when I don't stream, when I don't stream these direct, I'll often just skip these on games Nintendo that Switch I have no first. <laughs> Each game in the or I'll, collection or I'll watch also be available through it separately like two times on speed. Nintendo eShop. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Get your oh man, it's coming ready. back. Okay, there was rumors that it was coming back. But we didn't know if it was. Bands. So this is another another multiplayer game, and this was announced like a away. year or more Joy ago. Max, but Sammy, and more in two canceled because of the war in Ukraine. So we weren't sure if they were gonna even make it. Ever. Flex so. your strategic muscles across a multitude of modes. Design Looks your like own we maps are getting and it, share them with friends. Plus, go head to head in local and online play. Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp comes to Nintendo Switch April 21st. Pretty there we go. We're getting, we're getting a couple of Nintendo different multiplayer eShop. games. We got the the Mickey Mouse one. We got Advance Wars. We got the fighting one. Like, a new story like will tennis, unfold in the ball, Kirby's Frisbee, Return to Dreamland game. Deluxe game. Okay, so this is another co-op game. Uh, this Mega is a remake Lord, from the, the Wii U. From and the the I never got to play it on Wii U. But it looks like fun. And must escape the realm between dimensions. But I haven't covered it because I just I wasn't sure how interested in it I was. So this this will be like a cool little thing for me to actually watch All the trailer. All you can do now is a basic attack and jump. I think it's co op anyway. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. To regain Magalore's powers, you'll need to collect magic points by defeating enemies. With magic points, different abilities can be restored and enhanced. Improve Magalore's levitation or increase his attack range. The order in which you My restore problem with his Kirby powers games is that is they are too to easy. There are over 20 <laughs> interdimensional like, I love stages the, to explore. the style of them and everything, and I like my games to not be like super duper hard, but Kirby games are just too Up easy. to four players on the same system yep, can venture go. through this mysterious realm. So it looks together. like you do just all play as the same character. Can Magalore restore his powers and safely return to his world? You can access this new epilogue after clearing story mode. That's cool that they're at least adding something new, kind of like they did with the uh, 3D After World, Mario Nintendo 3D Direct, World, and Bowser's Fury. A demo Fury. will be available on Nintendo eShop. Ooh, yeah, we're gonna have to go get the demo and try it out. Up to I wonder four if players I can get Carly can play a specially it arranged now. demo with select stages and sub games. Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe launches on the Nintendo Switch 24th. system February 24th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. We hope you're looking forward to the new story in Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Next, here's some news about Nintendo Switch Online. Please take a look at this. What, what do we got now? Oh, man, people have been waiting for this. Game Boy right, games are, are being added to Nintendo Switch Mario. Online. On Nintendo Zelda. Switch, you can play these games anytime, anywhere, just like you could back in the day. Tetris. Let's introduce the games <laughs> that will be available at launch. Okay. Tetris. Arrange the falling Tetraminos and aim I for I assume high that score. we're also getting those games they showed Mario and Zelda, but Super I don't know. Super Mario see. Land 2, six golden coins. Reclaim the castle that Wario stole from you. Okay. Zelda. The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening DX. Awaken the Windfish to escape Covalent Island. I really enjoyed the Link's Awakening. Gargoyle's remake. Quest. Save the Ghoul Realm as Firebrand from the Ghosts and Goblins so series. I have to be honest with you guys. I had a Game Boy Advance Game and Watch SP. Gallery Three. Playing a so of Game original and Watch Game Boy games. I didn't. I did not actually play any of them. Alone but I do have dark, nostalgia the for new it. Nightmare. <laughs> Solve a murder mystery on the supernatural Shadow Island. Metroid 2 Return of Samus. Destroy the Metroids hiding on planet SR388. Wario Land 3. 
Traverse a world that changes between day and night based on your actions. Kirby's Dream Land. Float, inhale, and spit out enemies in Kirby's debut title. You can use the Game Boy, Game Boy Pocket, or Game Boy Color screen filters. Up to two players can play compatible games together locally or online. That's cool. More games will be added in the future. Okay. And. And. Game Boy Advance. Fantastic. Okay. That is good. Game Boy Advance games are being added to Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack. Nice. Here are the games that you can play at launch. Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Brothers 3. Play 38 extra levels from the Nintendo Switch. So when you, e when you play these games on the, on the Nintendo Switch, Mega Micro games, it's literally just like the origins of the lightning fast micro games. an emulator without all the benefits of having an emulator. Like Kudu, you can't Kudu, use cheats Kudu or guide the spinning stick to the goal you know, speed up the obstacles. game, right? Or am I wrong? Does it let you speed up the game? Mario Kart Super that would be far more interesting Race if it did let me speed Mario up the game. Because that's one of the problems I do system. have with like, Mario the Game Boy games. Oh, Star man. Saga. Superstar Saga, Adventure man. World, that one I grew up on. Zany attacks. That one was really, really fun. The Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap. And Shrink to miniature size. Anyway, that's one of my problems with Game Boy games is that they're too slow. Like Pokemon is so slow to play. Local and online play is supported for compatible games. Yeah, that's cool. And up to four players can play together. Love it. More games will be added to this library as well. Fantastic. That's cool. People have been waiting for that After for a long time. So that's hype. You can play these Game Boy titles with a Nintendo Switch online membership. Or nice. play both Game Boy and Game Boy Advance titles with the Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack membership. Select Game Boy titles will be playable on Nintendo Switch. And after today's Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to play the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance titles we introduced. Please look forward to more information about Nintendo Switch Online and Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack in the future. Let's see a few more headlines. The original Metroid Prime game is remastered on Nintendo Switch. I bet that's exciting for a lot of people. I know people just want to see Metroid Prime 4, but... <laughs> Maybe this is exciting for people. I think it'd be really good because it'll let people actually, you know, experience the Metroid series before they even get to Metroid 4. So like, I might, you know, I might be interested in getting into it. This game looks looks like a blast, so I, I'm definitely excited that they're remaking it and bringing it to to the Switch. It said it said yeah, remastered. So remastered and remakes, the two different things. <laughs> the first Metroid Prime game, originally released on the Nintendo GameCube system, has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Explore Talon 4 from the perspective of Samus Aran. Yeah, but this beware. one, I hope I can There's get my hands on. There's more to this alien planet than meets the Money eye. is always tight, but I would enjoy Advisors trying to play the, the, the original adventure. Metroid Prime here. And then that might, be, might actually get me into the series. On how to progress. <laughs> Depending on the situation, a certain visor may be required. When hostile creatures attack, keep them in your sights with a lock-on feature. Then fight back with beams, missiles, Bombs and more. I have I have been really this interested in uh, Metroid Dread, control, but I just didn't pick it up. Move I heard it was really difficult. Which your I'm not a big view. fan of like 2D platformers that are super difficult. I need to be medium difficult. The original game, among other control options, explore Talon 4 with your preferred playstyle. 
the digital version of Metroid Prime Remastered launches on Nintendo eShop later today. Oh, the physical sick. version of the game will be available in stores February sick. 22nd. That's awesome. Man, I love I love when I just like drop things like that. And maybe maybe there's you know been news about it and I just don't know about test. it. But. This is the World Detective Organization. Yuma, a trainee detective, and Shinigami, the spirit haunting him, will solve the strange incidents within Kanai Ward, a city ruthlessly controlled by Amaterasu Corporation. You'll investigate these incidents alongside master detectives of the organization. Each one has a supernatural ability that can prove useful during investigations. Mimic body types and voices with disguise. Detect <laughs> heartbeats and whispers with audio aptitude. And audio witness aptitude. past crime scenes with post cognition. These abilities can be shared with Yuma. So this is post cognition. So use them to I don't, get closer I don't know about this one, but I do like the entry you like solving evidence, the mystery, mystery labyrinth will is, is interesting to me i like puzzle games so i'm not a big fan of like the art style looking stuff going on here but i am a fan of, of mystery and puzzle games rain so. code launches on nintendo switch june 30th wings of the heart take flight once more a remastered collection of both Botan Kaidos games, originally released on the Nintendo GameCube system, is coming to Nintendo Switch. After a long and peaceful okay, era these are on again the floating games islands above know. Earth, the Empire's conspiracy looms closer. As spirits dwelling within the protagonists, you'll stand up to the Empire across two different eras of war. During your travels, you'll visit various locales and team up with like-minded allies. Battles are fought using cards We've been a lot of different, like, remakes or... Uh, your attack ports power is determined by the attributes and combinations here. of your cards, so. <laughs> which are randomly <laughs> dealt from the deck. One thing. That's exciting for, like, In those people that really battles, enjoyed that game. You'll need to make split-second so decisions for, to you know, edge else. closer to victory. What revelations will come to light in the skies above and the lands below? Botan Kaidos 1 and 2 HD Remaster soars onto Nintendo Switch this summer. Dive into your new fantasy life. Okay, this art style got me. The life you want. What do we got? What do we got here? Fantasy life. The girl who steals While exploring time. Exploring the once thriving island. You'll meet a mysterious girl. <laughs> then travel between past and present to make the island your own. Okay. Become um, a woodcutter. Right. Angler. Blacksmith. I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. Paladin, magician, and more. Take on different roles to develop the island. How will you rebuild? This life is yours to live. It looks like Animal Crossing mixed with like After maybe a little more adventure. Years, the restoration is about I don't, to be I don't hit. know exactly what's going Fantasy on. There, but that off. looks like a game the that Carly would probably really enjoy. 2023. Enough. Enough with the vague release dates. Not actual gameplay footage. I thought it wasn't going to have eyes for a second. To be honest with you. Professor Layton in the New World of Steam. I don't know if that's something I should know Way about. Wave 4 is racing okay. in. So we got more Mario Kart. This is, you know, multiplayer stuff, but we actually don't even own Mario Kart because it's a 60 dollar game. And <laughs> a brand new course <laughs> Neither of us are good at it. Wave so. 4 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC. Again, I still don't know why they didn't just make this a new game rather than releasing it as a DLC. 
Leonardo, who originally I guess they would have like had to make some new driving mechanics, kind of. I don't know. Of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game races onto the Nintendo Switch system this spring. Active Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. The DLC can also be purchased on its own. Okay, so I saw Blanc, I saw Minecraft Stories, Lion King. So was a Mega Man. Okay, so that's Minecraft Legend, last one. Mi mi mixed up my games. So Blanc, we're gonna have a review released of this game on on release day, on the on Valentine's Day. We're gonna have a review release. So look forward to that, because it is a co-op game that looks really cute and fun. So definitely look forward to that review of that game. I've never played a Mega Man game. Have a Nice Death looks so good. It looks like probably tougher than games I like, but man, it looks great. I saw that game and immediately was so excited. Okay, that might be might be a multiplayer game right there. I'm not into big sports 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 games, so I don't know. Okay, so Dreamlight Valley is getting a new update. This game released paid and went free to play and it was planned to go free to play and that's like kind of silly to me because people bought it and didn't realize it was going to be free. That was up some fun, yeah. Thank you for staying with us so far. Okay. This will be our last segment. What do we Please got? Please take a look. What do we got? Something I can be hyped for. Please. Not, not something that I don't know that everybody else will be hyped for. Uh, okay. Yep. That's a lot darker than what we what we what we have seen. Rise, rise, my servants. Sweep over Hyrule. Eliminate this kingdom and her allies. Leave no survivors. Like the last trailers were so light and pretty, and this is like much darker. I think there was some new stuff there. Oh man, that looks so cool. But Link, I am not sure you'll be able to stop him. Oh, Link can stop anybody. Okay, that was, that's cool. Very excited for this. So this was like the game that got me back into really enjoying gaming. Oh crap, that was so cool. Dude. Okay, there's some cool things getting shut off here that I have not seen before. I don't know if there's a trailer I missed, but I like the like new machines and stuff. Those those are exciting. Please lend him your power. Five twelve twenty twenty three. It's coming. It's just around the corner, guys. We're gonna get. We're gonna get to play it, and that's exciting. That for was me. the Legend of Zelda. I immediately of googled if there the was gonna be entry a, in the Legend uh, of Zelda series. Breath of the Wild two. In addition uh, to the standard version, it, a collector's edition of the game containing various items will release on launch day. A new amiibo figure of Link from this game will also be available on the same day. 
We hope you're looking forward to Link's latest grand adventure. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Awesome. Thank you for watching. Man, guys, let me know. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Um, because I'm I'm excited. I'm excited for some of those games. Uh, some of them, most of them, I'm not particularly excited for. But some of them, I am excited for. So let me know what you guys think. Let me just uh, bring this up. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, tell me which ones you're excited for. Uh, there was a couple of co-op games that we had there. We had uh, Blanc was shown off, which, like I said, we're going to have the review out on release day so look up look forward to that um we had that mickey mouse game we had a couple of different different little games there um but not so many not so many uh different ones but what i'm gonna go do is download kirby's return to dreamland demo and try that out so have a good one guys and i will see